Hi everyone. Welcome back. This is Janice. If you're new here, hi. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I don't have any boxes to out unbox yet. I did cut down on my subscriptions. So I thought of something to do that would be fun. I hope you enjoy it. I know I enjoy watching these. This is going to be my eyeshadow palette collection. So if you want to see what my collection looks like, just keep watching. Before I get going, I just want to remind everybody to not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. That's very important. And like this video. That will let me know that you do like this type of video. Um, if you don't, that's all right. I don't plan on doing these that often. Obviously. <laughs> but um, at least it kind of gives me an idea. Yes, you can always share this video. That does help me out a lot. Especially if someone you know may enjoy watching these. My love, when I first started doing palettes was the, from Urban Decay. Really liked Urban Decay. And this is probably... I started this collection probably, let's see, this is 2020, um, to 15, oh, about five years ago, okay. I'm not sure when I got this, whenever it came out, I don't remember the year. This is a Disney palette, Alice, looking through the looking glass. And I just thought this was gorgeous. I walked into Ulta, and this was up front, and I just fell in love with it, mainly for the packaging. And you open it up, it does have a nice mirror. And it has a little bit of whimsy here. It has a butterfly. And I thought that was really cute. All right. And on the front, I'll read this to you. I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And I can relate to that. Okay, here is the palette. I really thought these were a lot of fun colors. I'm getting the palettes the first time. I automatically knew I was into nudes. I did like the colored palettes much better. So this is why I got this. So that is my Alice Looking Through the Looking Glass palette by Urban Decay. I have the Nocturnal Shadow Box, and I really like this. It was small and compact, and I like the color story. It does have a mirror, and a little brush, like if you want to throw it in your bag. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting it out of frame. If you want to put it in your bag, you can. I know these aren't worth much, but on the, in a pinch, they work. So the color I like the best is this one here is the lounge. They do have that in the single, which I do have, but I wanted to have it in the palette. You see, that's probably the only one I've really used. It looks green. You can see that. And when I swatch it, it's a dual chrome red. I think you can probably see that. I'm hoping. So that is my second palette from Urban Decay. I had to have the nudes. I, like I just mentioned, I'm not into nudes, but I thought I should have it in my collection. So I got the Naked Ultimate Basics. And these are all mattes. has the mirror. And, and I really like there's warms and cools, so it's nice to bring this along for a companion palette or for just a quick look. My metallic palette. This is the Moon Dust and I fell in love with this. Because it has a mirror and there are the colors. And they're all metallics. These are really pretty. These two are the ones I wear the most. And I wear them as toppers. Or inner corner. Okay, the next one I picked up I thought it was unique and different. And it is the Back Talk palette. It is a face palette and an eye palette. And you can pull this little thing out in the middle and that is a mirror both sides. 
Here is the eye palette. I do like these colors. They're the berry family. You can't get a whole lot of different colors, but I like it. I enjoy it. Maybe a little dark, middle, lighter. <laughs> Whatever you decide. All right, I, I really like the blushes. These are really pretty. And then we also have a highlighter. And it's pretty good quality. I haven't used this this much. I did it first. Okay, there is the highlighter if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. I don't like a real in-your-face highlighter. I like a subtle highlighter. So that works great for me. The next one was the Naked Heat. Now, this usually isn't my color story that I'm drawn to, but I... Nice, dusty. <laughs> um, I did like it. I thought, oh, I'm going to get that. You know, get out of my comfort zone a little bit. It does, it has your neutrals and then your um, rust, like oranges, and your dark browns. Um, yeah, I haven't used it much. So, uh, anyway, I thought the brush was cute. You know, in case you want to just, it's a du dual end. In case I wanted to just pop that in a bag if I was going on a trip, I could. I haven't done that yet, but hey, it's there if I need it. This one I have is a Naked Reloaded. I never got Naked 1, 2, or 3. So when this came out, I picked it up, and I really like it. I like the packaging. It's satin with raised gold lettering. And it has the mirror, and here are the colors. Two larger pans on the end. And then you have a nice variety of your variety of your neutrals. And I like this just fine. I wore it quite a bit when I first got it. And mm, I find I'm not that fussy with pigment. I'm if the palette is workable and doable, I'm happy. So I know. I think I heard some complaints about this palette. I'm not quite sure what they were. Maybe pigment or blendability. I'm not sure, but I've never had an issue with it. This is probably one of my very favorite palettes from Urban Decay. It is the Naked Honey. Now, when this came out, I definitely had to have it. I never thought I would be drawn to this color story, but I am. I just thought it was gorgeous. And it's plastic, it's got raised lettering, so it's nice packaging. And open it up here. It also has a mirror course, and there's the colors. We're trying to not blind you. And then the dual end brush. Looks like a little honey stick that you get if you happen to go to the fairs or little country stores. They have little honey sticks you can buy. I thought that was adorable. And I do like these three colors in the middle, the gold metallic and a little darker and I'm not quite sure what you call this. It's called Golden Honey and Queen. That's what it's called by name. But these are my three favorites. So I like this and it's gotten rave reviews. This is Game of Thrones, Urban Decay, and I'm, of course, I was really into Game of Thrones. Now the back shows you the color stories, and they're sectioned off according to realms. Let's open this up. I so I managed to keep this carton. I try to keep them, then I get oh, I get in my way, and then I. I, I um, put them in a big box and I store them. Sometimes they get thrown out, but I try not to. But the back doesn't have it. It just has HBO and a little bit of, you know, whatever. <laughs> Game of Thrones, Urban Decay. It looks like a book because that's what the uh, because that's what the series was about. This about this book. If you didn't already know, <laughs> and it has a nice mirror and. Packing is really cool. It's got their map around here. And then 
has a little saying. I'm not going to read it. But, ta-da! It has the throne. The famous throne. Adorable. And this is also a drawer that you pull these out, which is nice. And again, these are sectioned off according to realms. And we've got okay. <laughs> we got the north. And we got the House of Stark, House of Lancaster, and House of Targaryen. I might be butchering that name. I'm sorry. Some of you comment like you didn't pronounce that correctly. Um, I do my best. <laughs> so that is my Urban Decay collection. Oh my goodness, I just went to put those away and I thought I decluttered this or gave it away. And I didn't. I'm so happy I didn't. It's my electric palette from Urban Decay. I don't know why I did that. I guess I thought these colors were too bright, but, oops, sorry about that mirror. I love them. And this is a very, very good palette. So, I'm so happy I have it. I've got a few Too Faced palettes, not a whole lot. I have the Too Faced Peanut Butter palette. I thought that was really cute. I don't ever use it. I got the Too Faced Just Peachy Mats. Here we go. I used it a lot when I first got it. I don't know more. I got the Too Faced Natural Love. This is a couple years back. They have, I'm not sure, I don't think this one is available. They have other ones now. The big mirror it has lots of colors. And I wore this quite a few times and I liked it okay. Not my favorite, I mean, nothing wrong with it. And then my first chocolate bar was a semi sweet. I got this one, I believe, through QVC. And that was my first experience with. I think with this brand, and I love the smell of it. Mmm, it smells like chocolate. Uh, I don't use it anymore. Just, you know, I've got so many palettes and I tend to use the newer ones because they're new. <laughs> and then of course, the beloved Too Faced Chocolate Gold. This was gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And, and there we go. The formulas of these are very, very nice. And I got the Too Faced I Want Candy by Candy Johnson, a collab with Too Faced. And I really thought this was cute packaging again. The mirror. Oh no, there's no mirror. It's metal. I'm sorry. It is a metal case. It looks like a candy box. I still have that in there. And I wore this quite a bit and I liked it alright. It's just very um, natural looking. And I've had others, but I've decluttered them. I think what I had. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I had Nikki Tutorials. I decluttered that. I believe I gave it to my granddaughter. Okay, and this is my recent one. I got this through BoxyCharm. It's a Palm Springs Dreams palette. I thought that's adorable. Packaging. One thing they're known for, of course, is their packaging. And it's hard to resist their packaging. And the colors are gorgeous. And I've worn this a couple times. This is fairly new, so. Yeah. So that is my Too Faced collection. Um, like I said, I had others. I 
can't remember which ones offhand, but I've decluttered. I've decluttered my ash eyeshadows so many times. I just can't use it all. It's not that I don't like them. I love them. But I can't use it all. So I share it mainly with my family. Okay, next I have a few from Modern Renaissance. Or not Modern Renaissance. <laughs> I have a few from Anastasia. And I have the first Modern Renaissance. It's my very first palette from that brand. And I'm sure you're all familiar with that. I was never fond of this. It seems to be everybody's ride or die. I just, I don't know why I didn't like it. Probably, probably the color story, but the color story is pretty, I don't know. Who knows with me? And then I got the subculture, which I absolutely adore. It's just a little tricky to work with, but I love these colors. Now these are my colors. Color story is really pretty. And then I got the soft glam, which I thought I need a really nice, natural, glammy palette, and this is gorgeous. So that's that. And I believe that is it for that brand. I just can't afford to buy a lot of high-end makeup palettes, so I don't have like full collections of brands. I just have a little bit sprinkled in here and there. And I got a couple from Barack. This is one of my first palettes that I got when I first started buying palettes. It's the Lorac Pro. And this is, I liked it because it's a little dirty. <laughs> I've used it. It was the cool tones, and I love cool tones. And I used it quite a bit. It's just been shoved in the back of my drawer. I still grab it, and I always forget how nice it is. It's nice. Then I got the Lorac Mega 4 Pro. And I use this quite a bit. Very nice. Get a lot of looks out of this one. And that is my Lorac. So I only have two. And I have one wondrous. Wander Beauty, and I got that through a boxy charm, and I don't like it at all. Nope. Um, the payoff is terrible. The colors are okay. I just don't like it. I never grab for it. So I'll keep my collection a little while. See if I use it. I don't. I don't know why I don't use it. I don't know why I don't like it. Gosh. I'm silly. Oh, and I bought this through a Sephora. Oh, the 15% off sale they have for VIPs. I always wanted to try this brand. This is Busy Art. And this is the Libertine Vat. This is the Libertine palette. Okay. It has the mirror course and this little plastic thing kind of opens like that. I like this, but I find it's very dark. And I was kind of disappointed in this brand. I just don't really like it on me. It's a beautiful palette. Nothing wrong with it. I just think it's rather dark on me. And I got Tati's Beauties Volume 1. And I like this. Nice. But I'm not a neutral girl, so if I want to go someplace where I just want to just kind of blend in, I wear this palette. But you do have a pop of glitter, and that is really pretty. It really makes the look. And I have no trouble wearing it. And I do love the metallics in this. Some don't feel it's metallic enough, but that's why I like it, because it doesn't crease in my crinkly lids. So this is nice. Really like this. I love, love, love this packaging. Now, I don't know if this is considered high end or luxury, but I grabbed it because I, to me, it is. It is by the brand, let's see if I remember now. Oh, Hip Dot. And here it is. It's the Kesha Rose. 
and I did do a review on this. I tried to remember to put it up there in the boxes. So if you are curious what I thought of this, and see some of the colors. Stop playing with the packaging, Janice. <laughs> it's really cool. It's got like metal and it's got like ah, velvet raised letters. There went the plastic. It has a mirror, flips back. And there are the gorgeous colors. Yeah, that's right up my alley. I like every color, every color. So you see, here I am a 69 year old lady and I'm loving colorful palettes. Go figure. <laughs> that's all right, there's no rules in makeup, right? All right, let me grab some more palettes. I'll be right back. Okay, moving right along here. I have a few Tarte palettes. I have the Dream Big. And that is a nice everyday neutral palette. And I usually will throw this in my bag when I go see my daughters or, you know, just to have on hand. And then I got this, these couple, next, the next two from BoxyCharm. This is the Tarte, let's see what it is. I don't know, one of the under the sea ones. This is the one that they reuse the packaging, which is not a big deal to me. I didn't have a problem with it, but I do really like this formula. And that is, as you see, uh, I think that's my lighter one. And this one here, which is the um, volume two under the sea. Oop. Yeah, this is my darker one. So I like those. And I had more of these, but I gave some to my sister, my daughters, because I only can use so many Nutri palettes. And I do like Tarte's formula, but they're not a real colorful company when it comes to eyeshadow. But I do like them. And I have one more I cannot find. It's the one with the um, pink flamingo. I, I love the packaging on that. And this is my unicorn one I got. This is one of the first ones I got from them, I think. And I really liked it. Let's get the mirror, of course. And that here in the middle is a highlighter. And all these are shimmers, except for one, which is a matte. Okay. That is the tart that I could find. I had several more. I just gave them away. Like I said earlier, I decluttered quite a bit of my eyeshadow palettes throughout the last couple years. Okay, I have one Natasha Denona palette. I did order this to Beautylish. I do love purples. And this is what this is the Layla palette. And I have used this. You can hope you can see how much I've used it. Got mattes here. And then we have our shimmers, metallics. And I used the heck out of it when I first got it. You're probably wondering why I'm not swatching. <laughs> it just will make this video so long. I just basically want to share my collection with you. If there's any of these you might want to see a look with, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll be happy to do that for you. Okay, I got some pure, and I got all these through BoxyCharm. And this is probably my favorite one from Pure, it's the Shorey Diaries. And again, it's all nudes, but they're really nice. And then I got the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. I've not used this, it's brand new. Can you see that? I didn't realize I hadn't used it. I know someone said about mold. So I'm gonna have to check this out. This color here, see I haven't lifted that yet. That could be mold in there. It looks kinda of marbly or green. I don't know. I'm gonna have to investigate that. I will here in a minute. And then the festival. And this is very cool. There goes that plastic again. I try to save my plastics. And that's a very colorful color story. I've used it a little bit. 
something from the bomb and I did or this is add-on through Ipsy is a face palette plus eyeshadows so these three here are eyeshadows that's a highlighter a bronzer and blush and it's a very handy palette to have I like it very much and I got this to a mystery box. This is by Colored Rain. It's called Smoke Show. And there it is. Okay, I think it's a little different for me. I've tried to wear it. I haven't really... It, this confuses me. Sometimes palettes confuse me, and this is one of them. But it's nice quality, nice pigment. And... I got this through BoxyCharm, Celestial Thunder. I've hardly used it. Got a mirror. I love the colors. Then again, I feel I have to bring in another palette, which is not a big deal. I do love this color right here, that turquoise. And I like this one here. It's a nice... Um, shimmer, you can see it there, it's got sparkles in it, and I do like the burgundy here, or pink, hot pink, whatever that color is, it's called Lucid Dreams, I do, I love these colors, I really do, I need to wear this more, however, I think I'm going to give this away, you know why, of course it would be a family member because I've used it. I ordered the Lucky Bag from Beautylish. Look what I got. Yep. I got the Celestial Storm. And it has all the colors in it. It has a mirror that that one has with the addition of these two purples. And of course, you know I like purple, so I'm definitely going to keep this. So, yeah. I was... Oh, it was okay that I got it, but I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of wanted one of the Anastasia's, Anastasia, how you pronounce that, palette. Because I noticed some unboxing, they were giving those away. But then again, I seen those at TJ Maxx. I didn't pick them up. Don't know why. I guess I was low on money that day. And now they don't have them. It's, it's alright. I don't need it. I just wanted it. <laughs> You gotta sometimes be careful, especially me. I'm on a fixed income. And I don't get anything from YouTube, obviously. Nowhere, no, I don't know if I ever will. And this is Iconic London. This was an add on to BoxyCharm. And there are the colors, and I don't like it. No, um, just don't Let's see why I don't. Why don't I? I don't think it's a good payoff. Yeah, this is, um, what is that color? Ultraviolet. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me. I'm going to give it to my daughter. She wants it. All right. Let's see what I got over here. Oh, I got some palettes from... KVD Beauty now. It was Kat Von D. I got these quite some time ago. I got this in the Clarence aisle there in Sephora. It's her shade and light. And this is the the hand one that was all matte. This has some shimmers in it. So I just picked it up because it was cheap and um, I thought it'd be nice to have some contour colors for my eyes. This one my husband bought for me when it came out because I fell in love with the packaging. And I've used this quite a bit. I really like it. I haven't used it lately. But it's the uh, Saint and Sinners palette. I just love the stained glass. I just love the stained glass look. You can see that, can you? Hope when I edit this, I'll have everything out. 
I think you can see it, yeah. Yeah. So that's that one. And then when I seen this come out, her 10 year anniversary, I went and picked it up. I've not seen anyone review this. It could have been when all that stuff started with her, I don't know. But I thought the color story was pretty. I really, I haven't used it much. Kind of don't want to use it anymore because of all that controversy, but gosh, it's, it's a shame for it to go to waste. I don't know. Colors are pretty. And then this is the last one I picked up. This is called Fetish. And I don't know if this is a palette where she had all that controversy from, from the names. I don't know. But I, at the time, didn't know that. Or maybe just before it happened. I'm not sure. But I just thought it was a neat color scheme. So, yeah. I don't go no more about that. <laughs> uh, they, they sit in the back of my drawer. I'm not going to use them. Okay, next I have Storbit Cosmetics. Fairy Tales. It's the Little Briar Rose. I got this through BoxyCharm. Shaped like a book. Nice, cute packaging. Has a mirror. And, and there are the colors. Um, yeah, this isn't too bad. I, I'm not really fond of the payoff. But I haven't really worked with it that much. But it's nice. It's nice to have in my collection. I have some Huda Beauty minis here. I had another one too. Oh, I, I have to go get it. Not a mini, a bigger one. This is a Huda Beauty Mauve Sessions. I got this as an add-on through Ipsy. I really like this one a lot. I love those colors. And I got Huda Beauty Ruby Session. Oh, I forgot I had this. Oh my gosh. I need to wear this. This is pretty. I believe there was an add-on that just had it in my box. And also this was in another box of theirs. I said Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions. Which when I got I thought, eh. But it is very nice. I have worn it. It's really it's got some nice payoff. They're very nice. Alright. I had this for a while, bought this. Oh, no, I didn't buy this. I got this at Box Turn. That's right. I wouldn't have bought this. <laughs> it's um, Party Animal by Laura Lee, Los Angeles Cosmetics. And I've not used it. Oh, wait a minute. Take that back. Looks like I used the purple. Or at least I swatched it. I don't remember wearing it. Some bright colors. I was going to declutter this many times. And I keep grabbing it back only because... I thought, well, I might need something that bright, but I don't know. Well, I haven't, I'm not going to do a declutter for a while because I just did a big one and I didn't film it. I did it before Christmas, but next time I do it, perhaps I'll film it for you. Okay, I got this through Ipsy. It's Dominique Cosmetics. I really like this. It's the sweater, what's it called? It's, well, sweater palette. <laughs> But uh, these are soft colors, very muted, but I love the look it gives me. I like all of it. I've worn this a few times. See, I'm kind of different, aren't I? And guess what I found? Yeah, looking through these. It's just misplaced. This is my pink flamingo one. I got this through a mystery box through Tarte, and yeah. Not my colors, right? Not at all. But I'm keeping it because of the pink flamingos. I love them. So that for packaging. And then I got the the Nubian by Juvia's Place in a subscription box, either Ipsy or Box and Charm, one of the two. I don't remember. But I don't wear it. Um, not my colors. But very nice payoff. I've swatched it, but I've not worn it. See what I mean by I give away my neutral palettes because I don't hardly wear them and I got more than enough. And then I got Dose of Colors Marvelous Mobs. 
and this all mattes and I'm not a fan. The colors are gorgeous, but just something about it. I wore it a couple times and thought, eh, I guess it looks okay. It's, I don't know why I should even care. I'm not the, I don't look at my face that much once I get it done, but it doesn't float my boat. <laughs> but it's nice quality. And then, also from Box Charm Blaze last summer, this is Butter London. And there's a natural goddess. And these are really pretty colors. Most of them are metallics, I think. Yeah, and a couple are mattes. Um, yeah, I've, again, not worn this hardly at all. I play with it a little bit. I have too many palettes, I say. And then we also got this through Boxy at the Alamar Cosmetics. And when I got that, I got this a couple years ago, I think. I loved it and I did use it. I really like these colors here. I like the teals and the greens and this is a kind of a grungy gold. And this is like a nice inner corner color. I don't really think I've worn these colors. I don't know why, they're not bad, I like them. But I like this. And then I got, also from Box of Charm, a couple years back, Wiki Lux Kitten Palette. I just thought this packaging was gorgeous. And I did wear this quite a bit when I first got it. I don't pick it up now, but I'm not getting rid of it. And there's nothing wrong with it. But I like the packaging because the kittens, I love kittens. And let me go get some more. Gosh, I'm zipping right through this. Okay, I'm going to just do a few more. And this basically is going to be part one. And these are my higher end palettes. Uh, I may have some I've missed, but if so, part two, I'll put them in. Um, the reason why I'm making one and two, because this is going to be a lot to edit. And I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. So, <laughs> Mama has to get dinner. So... I did find my Huda, Huda Beauty palette. I got this, a, gosh, a while back. I got Sephora, and I thought it was gorgeous. I wore it a lot when I first got it. Okay, and just recently got this. I forgot to, um, I was going to do a look on it in a review. And I haven't done that yet, so I'll probably do it this spring. It's by Ofra, and it is their Glitch palette. Look at that. The pretty is holographic. And the colors, got a mirror, are very pastel. Let's take off this shiny cover. This cover is kind of like a lip on it. And it looks like you can de-pan de it, because it has a little Dip it's there where you can lift it off and it is magnetized so the lid stays on well. So there are the colors. It's gorgeous. And I think I yeah, I wore it one time and I liked it. It is it is pastel, but it's great for spring. And I got Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star's mini controversy palette. Um, mirror and then there is the color story. I don't know what to do with this color story but I had to have it just because I wanted to collect it. But it is nice. I mean the colors pay off well. I, I do like the root beer um, cry on my couch a lot. I like these two colors a lot. And what else have I used? Um, exposed. I like that. And my boyfriend's purse, I use that for in a corner. That's what I've done with that so far. I've worn it a few times. And then here is the bigger one. This is the con conspiracy palette. And of course, this is really cute. And there is the palette. I'm sure you've seen this around. I really like this. You can get a lot of different looks out of it. And I try to use it as much as I remember to. 
So I do, I am getting use out of it. Yeah. Plus it's a collector's item. My husband's supposed to build a shelf for me and go around the edges of my wall in my beauty room. So maybe this spring and summer he'll get around to that. So I can display some of these pretty palettes. And my last palette I bought was, of course, Jeffree Star's Bloodlust. And this is gorge, gorgeous. And I did do a review. I did do a first impressions on this, an unboxing. And this is my favorite. Well, I don't have but three of his, so <laughs> this is my favorite. Alright, I um, want to remind everyone to please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Also, like this video. It really helps me out a lot. You'd be surprised how much that helps me. Uh, so, comment. What do you think about this little different format I'm doing of showing you my palettes? I hope you enjoy it. I I like watching them, so this is why I'm doing it. So if I like watching something, I'm thinking, well, someone else else must like watching them because they're getting made, right? So that's kind of how I gear what I want to put on my channel. Alrighty, one that makes 56 luxury or high end, not so much luxury, just higher end palettes that I've shown you, and I have more to show you. Those are mainly drugstore, indie brands, and I think I got all my higher end palettes in it, but if not, I'll pop those in, but that would be in part two. So I hope you tune in and watch that one, and um, I'll be making that soon and uploading that one. And I guess that is all, folks. This is part one. I'm going to get it up as soon as I can. I've been very busy this week. Last week I put up, I believe, five videos. This week, nothing so far. So, sorry about that. Um, life just got carried away here. I'm just doing, well, I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been getting into blogging and I'm trying to learn how to do it. So, I'll let you know more about that. So, if you're into blogs, I will tell you in another video, future video, of how that's going. All right, everyone. You have a very wonderful day or evening, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.